Hey guys, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We've got a brand new gun to look at today. This is the Fusion Elite. This is the latest model of the Fusion series. Um, it's releasing out. Uh, we've got one to check out right here for you guys. I've also got an older version, the FX, so that we can kind of compare the gun, the new one, to the old one. So let's open up the box. You guys can check out what comes inside of it. So inside the box, you are going to get a carrying case. It looks like that. This is kind of reminiscent of the Revi carrying cases. Um, go ahead and zip it. Fold it open. You can see you're going to get your gun right here. And then you're going to get some parts on this side. We'll look at what comes in the little sleeve here. You're going to get your manual. You're also going to get a quick start tuning guide. Uh, it's just a very basic run through of, of the parts and how to set them up. If you really want a better explanation, look in your manual. And then a bunch of stickers. You always get a bunch of stickers from Dangerous Power. And also a barrel sleeve. Now on the other side of this is going to be where you can put your barrels. Now it's going to come with a 14 inch barrel, two piece, uh, cocker threaded still, uh, 689 bore on the back. But there's plenty of room in here for more barrels, more pieces, different barrels, whatever you want. So here's your barrel. Here's our gun. And then also we've got parts kit right there, some lube and O-rings, extra detents, and then a uh, Allen key set. Go ahead and zip this up and get it out of the way. Take a look at the gun. All right. So the gun itself, probably the most noticeable difference between the new one, the Elite, and the old version is the Elite is a macroless line setup. Um, pretty much a lot of the guns are transitioning into some sort of a macroless line setup or a modified macro setup, kind of like the, uh, the new LV1s with the AT pipe but something to get the lines up out of the way so you're not breaking them or smashing them on the ground when you're diving around. A couple other features that this gun has that is new or different compared to the old gun. Um, obviously the line setup is different. The regulator, they've shortened up a little bit and made it a little more efficient, a little more consistent. It now has a true LPR on it. Originally, if we pull them apart, if you're not familiar with the FX guns, um, or the Fusion guns. On the Fusion FX, this one here, I'll take it off. This is not an LPR. This is basically just a volumizer. And it does hold the, um, the valve, or the, uh, the poppet in there. Um, but it does not actually control or reduce or change pressure running through the gun to the, uh, the solenoid assembly. So the same operating pressure used to shoot the ball is going to be what's used to make the gun move back and forth. It can make the gun a little bit louder, a little more kicky. Um, and if anybody has ever shot the FX, they know how that feels. With the new, uh, the new Elite system, this is a true LPR setup at the front. If I can unscrew that here. You can see that it is adjustable through the front controls the pressure running into the solenoid. So you definitely can drop the, the working pressure of the solenoid um, and make it a smoother running gun. Still does have the same spring um, and poppet setup. Although now they're using a traditional valve style inside here where the valve piece is a Delrin valve piece. It has the O-rings on it. You can pull it out. And this is more of a traditional cup seal where it's going to seat against the valve inside there. The old FX was a little bit different where it didn't actually use a a valve assembly, if you're familiar with the one in an LV1 or an Ego, how it looks, very similar to that now. So I see it makes it easier to maintain. You can pull it apart and get it out of there and, and uh, do any kind of maintenance you need to on it. So let's go ahead and put this back together. We'll move to the other end of the gun. Just finger tight now. Uh, we'll move across. You can see the eye covers are pretty much uh, the standard eye covers. Nothing fancy about that. The trigger they have changed on the FX over here. You had this swivel trigger where you could turn it from being 
um, more of a one that comes out or backwards. They got rid of that and just going with the, the standard standout trigger, the scythe style trigger. Um, pretty much this is the way everybody's guns look. I don't know anybody that shot their FX the other way around. Everybody shot it like this, so it's just something that you didn't need to have in your gun. So they got rid of it for the new one. Pull the bolts out so you can take a look at the bolts. You can see they've shortened up the bolt a little bit, made some new cuts in it. Instead of just uh, relying on one small gas port to get the air through the bolt and out, they've cut a large channel in it now so the air can flow evenly around and through the bolt, uh, dispersing the air more consistently on the ball, less ball breakage, smoother shot. Um, just, you know, the next evolution in bolts for the fusion guns. The back side here will open up so you guys can check out the ram assemblies in here. Woo! That was tight. Let's go ahead and open that up. Pull that off of there. Pull the ram out. Now the original Fusion that we've got here, or not the original Fusion, but the Fusion FX, um, was a blow forward spring back style gun. So when you pulled the trigger, the ram came forward through air pressure, but then was returned to its original position through a spring. So the spring brought it back to the original starting position. They've changed that now. They've gone with a traditional or a more current uh, system where gas is controlling the ram in both a forward and a rear direction. That's eh, still the wrong one. Third time's the charm. So we can take off our LPR cap here. and get our ram out. All right, so you can see the ram is very different than the way it used to be. Most people are gonna be used to seeing a ram that looks like this. It looks very similar to a bob ram or a planet ram um, where you've got air flowing in both directions to control the motion of the bolt or the, uh, the rammer back and forth. Uh, by doing this, you know you're able to control the way the gun shoots a little bit better, make it smoother, make it quieter, uh, make it more efficient, and just make it altogether a better shooting platform. So that's another great upgrade that they've done with this gun. Getting rid of the, the, uh, the blow forward spring return design definitely is gonna be a step in the right direction as far as how this gun shoots. Uh, other than that, you've got uh, all your programming modes are still there. Every tournament mode you ever wanna shoot, all user adjustable, so if you wanna change rate of fire, um, you want to make it go fast, you want to slow it down. Uh, it's got every mode, I know I've said that, but there's a lot of them. All your Millennium Series, Ramping, Reactive, Full Auto, um, PSP, everything you could possibly want is inside this gun. Uh, we'll go ahead and weigh them so you can see if there's any weight difference between the two. So let's get our bolts back together here. Uh, that one's on there. That's tight. there. So we do have our scale. We can throw the old one up. What is that? 1.96 I think. Not hard for me to see it on there. Yeah. Put this one on there. 1.10. Now this one does have a battery in it right now. So it is that little bit of extra weight you're seeing is gonna be due to the battery. Uh, let's put the barrels on them. So with barrel, 1.14. And then barrel on this one. So yeah, basically the weight you're seeing is going to be the same. The, the difference that we're showing right there is going to be due to the battery in the, uh, the new one. The old LC, uh, OLED screen was on the back of the FX. They have moved it to the side. A little bit easier to see. Your hands are, isn't going to be covering it when you're using it. I do have a battery in here, so let's power it up. You can see there's your screen right there. Um, same, uh, 
same way to enter programming modes. You're going to hold the trigger down when you turn the gun on, and you're going to be able to access all the modes um, straight through the trigger. You don't need to fumble around with any of the buttons on the back. Unless you want to change settings, then you're going to use the buttons as well. So a very straightforward programming design. Still has the wraps on off ASA. Um, basically, this is a great change to the FX line or the Fusion line. Everything that people didn't like about the old one, uh, they definitely addressed it in the new one. So when you have a chance, check this one out on the website. They're available in five different colors, I believe, uh, available through the website. So order yours now at ansgear.com.